Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x squared minus 1 whole cubed divided by x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to x squared over 80. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. From the numerator, we can factor out x. x as common in bracket left x minus 1 over x. whole to the power this power 3 divided by from the denominator we can factor out x x as common and in bracket left x minus 1 minus 1 over x is equal to x squared over 80. Now this expression in the numerator will become x cubed times x minus 1 over x whole cubed divided by x times we combine these two terms x and 1 over x. So, this will become x minus 1 over x minus this 1 is equal to x squared over 80. Now, this x will be cancelled out and here left 2. So, this will become x squared times x minus 1 over x whole cubed divided by x minus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to x squared over 80. Now, from here we multiply both sides by 1 over x squared left hand side will multiply by 1 over x squared. So, this will be considered with this and this x squared will be considered with this x squared and this expression will become x minus 1 over x whole cubed divided by x minus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 80. Now, if we take a reciprocal on both sides, then this will become x minus 1 over x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 over x whole cubed is equal to reciprocal of 1 over 80 is just 80. Now, this can be written as x minus 1 over x divided by x minus 1 over x whole cubed minus 1 over x minus 1 over x whole cube is equal to 80. Now, this whole expression in the numerator will be cancelled out and here left 1 and this 3 will become 2. So, this equation will become 1 over x minus 1 over x whole squared minus 1 over x minus 1 over x whole cubed is equal to 80. Now, this expression can be written as 1 over x minus 1 over x whole squared minus this can be written as 1 over x minus 1 over x whole cubed is equal to 80. Now, we suppose that let 1 over x minus 1 over x is equal to t. So, this equation will become t squared minus t cubed is equal to 80 move this 80 to the left hand side this will become t squared minus t cubed minus 80 is equal to 0. Next t squared minus t cubed this uh, negative 80 can be written as a negative 64 minus 16 is equal to 0. Now, because this is 64 64 is same as 4 cubed. 
so we write this 64 with this t cube and this 16 is same as 16 is same as 4 squared so we write this 16 with the t squared so this will become t squared minus 16 minus t cubed minus 64 is equal to 0 next t squared minus this is 16 can be written as 4 squared and we use parentheses to make this a group minus we use parentheses to make this a group due to this minus this uh, negative t cubed will become positive t cubed and this uh, negative 64 will become positive 4 cubed is equal to 0 now by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b this uh, t squared minus uh, 4 squared will become t plus 4 times uh, t minus 4 minus by using this algebraic identity a cubed plus uh, b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared this uh, t cubed plus uh, 4 cubed will become t plus 4 times t squared minus 4 times t plus 4 squared or 16 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression t plus 4, this expression t plus 4 is common. So we factor out this t plus 4 and in bracket left, in bracket left this t minus 4 minus this t squared minus 4 t plus 16 in bracket left t minus 4 due to this negative sign this positive t squared will become negative t squared this negative 4 t will become plus 4 times t and this plus 16 will become negative 16 is equal to 0 next t plus 4 times we write this negative t squared first negative t squared and this 4t plus 1t will become plus 5 times t and this negative 4 minus 16 will become negative 20 is equal to 0 and from here is this expression t plus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression negative t squared plus 5 times t minus 20 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 4 and from this equation we multiply both sides by negative 1. So this is negative t squared will become positive t squared and positive 5t will become negative 5t and negative 20 will become plus 20 is equal to 0. Now we see that the discriminant is uh, less than 0 or greater than 0. Discriminant d is equal to b squared minus 4ac and this will be equal to negative 5 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 20. Next, this uh, negative 5 squared will become 25 minus uh, 4 times 1 times 20, 80 and uh, 25 minus 80 will become negative 55. So, the discriminant that is also called delta is less than 0. So, no real solutions can be found from this equation. So, we accept only this value of t negative 4. Now to find the value of x we recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, 1 over x minus 1 over x is equal to t we have supposed that uh, 1 over x minus 1 over x is equal to t 
So when t is equal to negative 4, then this equation will become 1 over x minus 1 over x is equal to negative 4. Now we can write the denominator of this uh, negative 4 1 and we take a reciprocal on both sides then this will become x minus 1 over x is equal to negative 1 over 4. And we can write the denominator of this x 1 and we take LCM, LCM is x. So this x times x will become x squared minus 1 times this one will become 1 is equal to negative 1 over 4. From here we use cross multiplication. So 4 times this expression 4 times x squared minus 1 is equal to negative 1 times this x will become negative x. Now this 4 times x squared will become 4x squared and 4 times negative 1 negative 4 is equal to negative x. Move this negative x to the left hand side this will become 4x squared plus x minus 4 is equal to 0 and this quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. So x will be equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times a is 4 times c is negative 4 divided by 2 times a is 4. Next x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of this uh, 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 4 times negative 4 will become plus 64 and 1 plus 64 will become 65 divided by 2 times 4 8. This is the first and second value of x. So, we have uh, two solutions of uh, this equation.